All right, so how do you feel about kids who've experienced bullying learning things like martial arts or boxing to help with their confidence? Yeah, well, uh, the short answer is that I would say, yes, go ahead and do it. The slightly longer answer is that going and doing a martial art or doing boxing or something like that, it's giving them back their sense of next time they're in that situation, they're going to have power. You know, whether they win or lose, they're not going to be defenseless. Now, the reality is they're unlikely to ever use those martial arts skills or those boxing skills, but they feel like if push comes to shove, I've got what it takes. And it's sort of weird because... I mean, I was 28 and I realized, and this comes back to when I was sort of pushed around and bullied a bit as a teenager, I realized I was 28, I was walking around at night with my wife and I realized I actually felt vulnerable. I felt like I didn't know what I'd do if someone was to attack me. You're crazy. Yeah. Uh, how many 28 year olds do you know who go and do martial arts? And I went and did Taekwondo for about a year and a half and I got some skills out of it. I, I don't know how useful they are, but I do know that it's impacted how confident I feel walking around at night. And I'm an adult. Imagine if I was 15. So I, th I think that um, no kid who's been bullied that I know of is going to go and misuse those skills. A lot of parents are like, oh, he'll misuse those skills. Well, Become a bully himself or something like that. Yeah, that's, that's just the, I don't know where people get that from. But I think if it's good for their confidence, if it gives them back their sense of power, why would you not, you know? And did you ever, like, do martial arts or something like that? Uh, I did a bit of box fit, which is it's more cardio than anything else. But all through school, I've played rugby since I was a little kid. So it's like a masculine thing, okay? Yeah. So I'm playing football with the boys. I know that I'm confident in my ability to get a bloke on the ground and to clean him out of there and to yep. scrum and ruck and tackle and all the rest of it. So I think that's probably a similar idea to what yeah. you're coming with. So I never really went looking for fights or anything to to sort of set myself up in that way, but I always felt comfortable that if something did happen, you know, I've had experience in, in a contact sport that is can get quite rough at times, and I felt like I would have been able to take care of myself through that way. Yeah, so look, if you're a mum, this might be sort of like, what what are they talking about? When you're a teenage boy, there's this part of you that says, do I have what it takes to look after myself? And I guess martial arts or boxing or something like that, or playing some sort of contact sport, it's just a way of answering that question for him and saying, yes, you do have what it takes.